I might just quick run through the uh, Excel based uh, holiday absence planner from the Career Cafe. Uh, pretty straightforward. Um, uh, when you enter, you'll see this uh, sort of screen. The first thing you can do is just add all of your employees in here um, from 1 to 200, whatever. These employee names will then automatically feed through to the rest of the month. So just go back to January, adding all your employee names first. Um, and then pretty much you can start adding in your holidays. Um, you can see all the codes here on the left. Paid holidays are H. Paid half day H1, H2, company city pay S, maternity pay M, compassionate C, um, bank holiday B, other paid leave, um, PL, and so on. And then some unpaid leaves underneath for unpaid sick leave. You know, all companies pay for that, unpaid parental leave, other unpaid leave. Um, you literally then just go in um, and just, when you're doing a particular employee's holiday, pick the month. Um, I think it's March, whatever. And you just pick the particular code and we're going for March 6th. You can probably see it appearing. It's, it's going to go green. We put in a H and that cell's gone green. That's a holiday has been added to that month. If you go along to the end, just scrolling along. Then all the absences that month are total, totaled up. One day's holiday, one see here there is the next one is um, so yeah so they're all total up at the end so that's as simple as that you just go in you just stick in whichever code it is you need half day h1 here you can just see that appearing and that just sticks in a half day holiday sort of thing so it's very easy do that for each person do whatever month you need then you can go right to the end uh, and summary view and that gives you the sort of report and again automatically will put all the employees names you can then program it with certain things like the base holiday allowance for the year sickness allowance i know not all companies have that but you may have sickness allowance you put that in there and then you carry over holidays this will then bring their total holiday allowance um, here and then um, the holiday taken for each person will appear here in the in the holiday taken column sorry um, i'm realizing you can't see the cursor so um Yes, so the first three columns um, are in sort of bronze. That's where you do the settings, you know, sickness allowance, holiday allowance, carry over. Then the next column, total holiday allowance, gives you um, the total holiday allowance for the year. Holiday taken comes immediately next, um, followed by, by holiday remaining, which is automatically calculated and color coded. Um, then following that, we have the sickness that they've taken and the remaining sickness based on the allowance you've set. Um, and these are pretty much all the paid allowances um, and as I say you may not have any paid sick day then your sickness would be zero and um, and then if we keep going to the end and then there are just basically the other allowances um, maternity well, the, the other types of leave maternity compassionate bank holiday other paid leave unpaid sick unpaid parental leave and things like that so that's all there. So it's pretty much you've just set set this up how you want. It's pretty flexible. And um, but the main thing here, this is for tracking, you know, um, holiday mainly and sickness and compassionate leave and those kind of things. So there you are.